Multiple field fires in the Eldridge area. Top your news at 10. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sharon DeReek. I'm Gary Bativier with more than a dozen fire departments responding here. KWQC's Ashley Davis was on scene and brings us the latest tonight. Ashley. Gary and Sharon, a windy day in the QCA today made for fast moving fires. And with no fire hydrants in these rural areas, trucks and tractors had to bring in the water and work the ground to contain those flames. And witnesses tell me this made for a scary afternoon, but they're glad the damage wasn't as bad as it could have been. I was kind of wondering if they were going to get it stopped because if they couldn't have stopped it, it would have gone right through the farm place here and kept going. And then I got that big field, it would have got into it and taken that all out. East of Eldridge near 220th Street and Utica Ridge Road. A shock for Richard Jessen seeing the field behind his house lit up. So it's something to worry about. You do have insurance, but then I'd rather have the crop than have the insurance pay for it. Further west into town near Blackhawk Trail and First Street. I was wondering what, what happened and then I could see it started out as a little thing and it stretched across the whole field within about five minutes. With field fires smoking up the entire town and fire crews racing to contain them. It got thicker and thicker. We could hardly breathe. So we pulled over going this direction here. Tried to pull into Copart, but then you couldn't breathe pulling into there. So I pulled out of here. And then before you know it, you couldn't see 100 feet in front of your face. At Copart car auctions, having to leave the building, but not sure where to go. We couldn't really see even uh, when we pulled out of the yard. Um, we couldn't see, we could hear fire trucks were coming. So as we pulled out, we all kind of, we talked about it after the fact that we were just kind of hoping we didn't get in their way or get hit as we were pulling out because um, we couldn't see anything. A scary situation, but Copart office manager Rodell Morgart says she's thankful no one was hurt. There's always way scarier things. We all got out safe and buildings okay and it looked like all the firefighters were okay. So it was, it was okay. Reporting in Eldridge, Ashley Davis, KWQC, TV6 News. So far, there are no official reports on what caused these fires. The Eldridge fire chief tells us two of his firefighters did suffer from smoke inhalation. Their status is unknown. There are no other reported injuries at this time.